hello learners in this lecture we will see how to take the levels at the site with the help of auto level right so always we have to see we have seen whenever we take the whenever we do the excavation or whenever we do the pcc every time we need to give a level only then the execution is going to happen at the site so in this entire series of lectures we'll try to understand them one by one so to begin with we'll try to understand what is temporary benchmark we'll try to understand what is a mean sea level uh, how the auto level is going to look and then we'll try to see how those uh, calculations are calculated yeah so to begin with so if you can observe it here yeah all the construction project will have a permanent benchmark taken from the survey department or from the local authority right so you can see a something written here it's written here temporary benchmark so this temporary benchmark we are going to create in our site but there's something called as permanent benchmark which you are going to get in the railway stations or in, in the nearby inspection bungalow so we'll try to see that well from there we are going to carry the level and wherever our construction site is going to happen no? there we'll try to create such a level that is called as temporary benchmark so keeping this reading all other readings are taken on the construction project for marking the levels keeping the uh, permanent benchmark from there we are going to do the level or we are going to take the rl for our project uh, by creating a temporary benchmark so so once this is understood so if you see it here no yeah for that we need to understand something called as mean sea level if you see it here no see whenever uh, if you go to um, if you go to any railway stations and all they are going to write the le uh, level over that that is 500 meter above mean sea level and all so what exactly is that see this is a uh, you know river or what this is the ocean what we have okay all that all that levels what they have taken is from the mean sea level because see every time what will happen there will be low there will be a high tide there will be the low tide high tide and low tide right so they are going to take one mean sea level out of this high tide and low tide they are going to take one mean level of this and with reference to this mean level all other levels are taken in the entire uh, country uh, like if you're from india then each city has their own rl level so this mean sea level with respect to this those levels are taken right you can see it here see they have written it here no from here to here that is the top of this ship you can see it's written 3000 feet msl msl stand for mean sea level similarly if you see this um, uh, you know plane here from the mean sea level this plane is at a height of 5000 feet mean sea level so in this way we represent all this height okay now i'll show you one more drawing of the same thing see now uh, you can see it here written right so what is written mean sea level give me a minute yeah yeah you can see it here mean sea level 214.42 meter that is from that mean sea level the height of the new delhi is that new delhi is a city in india okay so from there the height is 214.42 meter Similarly, there is uh, another state, uh, an another district called Kalaburgi in Karnataka. Again, it's written here, RL, that is reduced level, that is mean sea level is 454 meter. Similarly, if you come to Bangalore, it's written here, mean sea level is 896.920. All these are the permanent benchmark. You cannot, you can never change all these things. They are permanent. All other construction, whatever you want to do, with reference to this level, we'll try to create a temporary benchmark in the near, uh, in the construction site, what we have. And from there, we are going to carry all the level that is required, right? Yeah. So again, we'll try to see what else we have. Yeah. Yeah. So now how to carry all this level. Now we saw how, how this permanent benchmark are established with, with reference to the mean sea level, those uh, levels are established. Now how to carry all these things to my uh, site. So to these levels are carried to the particular site, either by leveling instrument or with the help of satellite. So this leveling instrument can be an auto level or even with the help of a total station, you can take that level. That is, let us say you are in Bangalore and uh, from the railway station, okay, from the Bangalore railway station, your construction site is somewhere close to around one kilometer, let us say. Okay. So that temporary, that permanent benchmark, what I have, no? I'll, I'll go there. Uh, there's one point written in the Bangalore railway station where exactly you can see that level. From there, I'll try to carry that level. And from there, this is my construction site. Here, I'm going to create some temporary benchmark. You, you can see it here. It's written TBM, that is temporary benchmark. So with reference to that, I'll try to create a temporary benchmark in my site. And I, I'm going to uh, construct a small, you know, a bund, something like this. And over this, I'm going to write this as, this is 100 meters. So this 100 meter is my temporary benchmark. But this 100 meter I got with reference to the 
a permanent benchmark what i have in the bangalore railway station so this is an example what i'm trying to give and how this level can be taken with the help of a leveling instrument or with the help of a total station and nowadays you have this online systems and all like satellite systems and all based on the satellite you have to try to match the map of both the railway uh, bangalore railway station and this particular area and based on those things you will try to establish the a uh, temporary benchmark right so these are the ways that you can establish the benchmark anyhow a very good server will try to do all these things but as a fresh engineers we should be at least have a basic idea how these things are brought yeah so as i mentioned this levels can be taken even from the nearby go government inspection bungalow or from the road level yeah whatever level we are seeing no those are the permanent benchmark what we get in the railway stations along apart from that we will be having a government inspection bungalow each district or each taluk will be having a government inspection bungalow even there also the ro will be written since it's a government property they are going to write the uh, permanent benchmark over there and also on the road level whenever you see the road construction happening and all no so even the road level whatever the top level of the road we have that also will have certain rl even from there also you can carry the rl and bring it to the construction site wherever you are supposed to do it so once this levels are carried we will establish the permanent level on this on the site as i mentioned see this kind of bund what we created the site so with reference to this all my construction activities level will be carried out right yeah i hope the basic understanding is clear uh, we'll try to see what else we have other than that yeah so up to here it is done so in the next lecture we'll try to see how exactly those levels are transferred to the site and we'll try to understand the different part of uh, auto level and leveling stuff and then we'll try to understand how to transfer these levels i hope this uh, basic understanding is clear we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you